Hey guys! So, as you guys probably would have known if you're makeup lovers like myself, Sephora last week had their like spring sale, if you will. Um, if you're VIB Rouge, you get 15% off. I don't know any of the other tiers. I think it's all 15% off, but I think the VIB Rouge gets theirs like first, so it's like first dibs. I am VIB Rouge, so I got the email like the beginning of last week. So, I placed an online order from like, <laughs> from Sephora idiot, for some things that I like didn't have trouble waiting for because they're like necessities to my life. They're not like something that like, I was super, like, you know what I mean? Like, they're things that I use every day, so it, like, I still, you know, I placed an online order and I bought stuff in store. That's what I'm trying to tell you here. I did both of those things. I'm gonna show you the stuff that I ordered online first because it's kind of, like, more boring. Like I said, it's stuff that I use every day, so it's just, like, stuff I could wait for. So, the first thing that I ordered online was this. I had been looking at this for, like, I don't know, a little bit. It was $32 Canadian, so it's very comparable to the price of Christ, Christ, Jesus. <laughs> it's very comparable to the price of the Crest White Strips. So it's called Glow. Um, it's a three-day teeth whitening treatment. This one is in the flavor Mint. Excuse me. I have already used one of them. I mean, I can't tell a huge difference yet. So anyways, about this. $32. Like I said, I can't say much about it yet because I've only used it one night. You apply it three times a day. Um, I think that's what I did yesterday. That's what it told me on the back. And basically you just like break this open. It's kind of neat. Um, but I just, I don't really, I can't say much about it yet because I, I don't know. Next is something I buy like literally probably every time I'm in Sephora. It's just my fresh face cleanser. Um, it's called the Soy Face Cleanser. It says it's for all skin types. I find it works really well for like waterproof mascara, any foundation. It just breaks down your makeup. I do it two different ways. Sometimes I just literally like squirt it in my hand and go all over my face. But I also sometimes use like a little cleansing pad, put a little bit of water on it, then put a little bit of this and kind of just like go a little bit easier on my skin. It works both ways. I probably should have just got the bigger one. Shit. And the last thing that I ordered online was something, again, that I already have. And it is the Cinema Secrets Pro Cosmetics Makeup Brush Cleaner. I have one of these in my bathroom that I'm currently using. And I find that it works so well. And that your brushes dry, like, so fast. So, obviously, I was, like, this was the best opportunity to order another one and have it as a backup. Same with the Fresh face cleanser that's exactly what I did for both of these they're just backups they're things that I know that I love they're like basically holy grail so I knew that I want them again the first thing is actually a hundred point perk this is from dry bar and it's the triple sec the three in one blah 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 so many people rave about this I'm so excited to try it kind of smells a little bit like a barn cosmetic and a little bit like a barn hmm and I would now because I rode horses for, and still ride horses, but I rode horses since, ooh, since I was eight. Hmm. So I recently ran out of my Milani primer and I thought that that was working super well for me. And like, it does work well, but I've been noticing that my pores, especially around my nose are getting like bigger, which is just like terrifying. Um, but I, I gotta roll with the punches like I can't cut my pores off so gotta do what we gotta do so I have actually never no that's not true I bought what's up I have what's up um, what's up from benefit so this is my second product from benefit that I've ever bought this is the poor professional I've heard nothing but good things about this so I am expecting like I have high hopes. Like, I am expecting big things here, people. Big things. Also kind of, like, disappointed to see that this is 22 milliliters. And most, most, not saying all, most primers are 30 milliliters. I mean, like, considerably smaller. Like, almost one, whatever. Um, almost like a third smaller is what I was going to say. Just, it, it's, you know, I mean, I know that you use it sparingly. I know that you only use a little bit. I get that. But this is $42. 
I don't know. I'll have to do my own personal thing and let you know how I feel about it. Like if, if it does work really well and you only need such a little bit, then that's a fine price. If it lasts you for a long time, like not a problem. Regardless, I'm excited about it. Hopefully it works out for me. Um, I don't know if you can see my giant pores or not. I actually didn't use primer today because I'm out of my other one, like I said, and I wanted to just, I don't know why I couldn't have used this today. You wouldn't know if I had used it or not. Idiot. <laughs> I didn't use it, just so that you know. Is it still sealed? Yes. And last, but certainly not least, another product from Benefit. I was feeling the Benefit. Now, when I went in store, this is what I went in for. I knew that I wanted to get this. I I don't know, I've just been, I actually, I do know why. I had the Kat Von D contour kit, and I have used up like four out of the six pans. And it's not that I didn't like that. In fact, I really liked it, but I just kind of wanted to like, I don't know, try something new. And I feel like this is a really good value. I hope that, I haven't used it yet. I hope that I really like all the things in it because um, it, it wasn't cheap. Like I know that it was a good deal for what it is. Um, it like saved you a whole bunch of value, um, but it's still $80. So I got this, the Cheek Parade. I feel like I like most of the stuff that's in here. I was really excited about both the Hoolas. I I don't know, the California I like wanted to try and then when I saw it in store, I was like, wow, that's really bright and like corally. Um, I'm really pumped about Dandelion. I feel like it'll be really nice. Rockator, I really like the color of, but I don't know how I feel about like a big shine on my blush. I don't know, we'll see. Like I said, I haven't tried this yet. When I open this, of course, my like, OCD because like I am on top of like OCD things like I'm a little bit mad, but that's okay Um, My OCD was like no I Really hope you're gonna be able to see this so Yeah, you can see it right there So you can see where it should have just been printed on and you can see where there's a sticker from right here to right here now I did look up on the Sephora um what's it called reviews and someone had t like ripped it off and they said that it said cheek cheek oh something cheek oh something I don't remember but anyways it does say something else underneath and I can totally understand why they wouldn't want to like redo everything about this just for this but I don't know like I mean I feel like as you use it it's gonna get lifted up it's not gonna look nice and for people like me who like really take pride in that kind of stuff that's gonna piss me off I'm not gonna like that and I noticed that it like was kind of covering this lady and that like it's kind of covering this over here and like I just don't like the sticker I didn't even notice that this one's like not even properly on this gal's head my boyfriend was like oh like there's this one too Elena and I was like huh like they're all a mess <laughs> By the way, these are my natural lashes today and I am digging them. They are like killing the game. Thanks guys, thank you, standing at attention. So anyways, I like I needed to rant about this. It pissed me off because I was like, I paid $80 for this. Like you couldn't get the fucking packaging right. Sorry. Then you open it up and it's like beautiful inside and like la la la. The California is stuck out too much. See how it's like the one that's sticking out out of all of them? And it's actually pressing into the mirror, which wouldn't be a huge deal if I didn't think that it was gonna break. Don't you think it's gonna freaking break? Like it's sticking out too far. One quick snap of this by accident and girlfriend, your blush is broken. Also, Kyle, my boyfriend was like, why did they put a brush in there? Why didn't they add in another one? And I was like, Oh girl, you are not the only one who thinks this. <laughs> Regardless of all of that, I am still pumped about it. Also, it smells weird. It smells like anybody who's my age, I'm 24, um, will probably remember there was, I think it's by L'Oreal, and they were like hair dyes, and they were in like this bright metallic orange kind of packaging, and there was like these little like fashionable girls on all of them, and there was like a black one, like the hair color, um, black, orange, purple, like, pinkish reds write in the comments to me if you remember those and if you've smelled this palette they smell exactly the same write to me down below I want to know that you feel the same about this so I'm, I'm telling you it smells exactly the same so anyways I got this they all look like perfect in the packaging 
I just don't want this to break. I'm worried about it breaking. And I mean, I can't even lie about this. I'm just angry because it was 80 bucks. Like I just want it to look, you know, as pretty as I can. I want to like take pictures of it. And I mean, for like my Instagram. And like, I feel like that's all that you're gonna freaking see. I'm just, I'm sad. But obviously not sad enough to take it back. Yeah, regardless of all of that, like I said, I am still really excited for it. I hope that it works out well for me because I am excited. I want it to work, so. I did get this. So that was everything. I hope that you enjoyed this haul. I hope I didn't complain too much. I'm just, I don't know. Like things just bother me like that. Like I wanna be happy about it. And like, I really am excited to try it. And I hope that my like thoughts about the stupid packaging doesn't like affect the product. I don't think that it will. I'm still really excited about it. A lot of people really like the products that are in there. So I think that I will like them too. It's not that I just need to, I don't know, rant. That's all, just take it for what it is. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you made a video of what you bought from the sale, you can definitely leave the link to it down below. Also, like I said, let me know if you bought that palette and what you think of it. Was yours like that? Is everybody's like that? Or is it just like, you know, a select like couple hundred or whatever. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video.